Professor Thomas, Minister of State, Independent Church, Minister of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution, Dr. M. S. Swaminathan, Padma Vihushan, and one of the architect of the Green Revolution in this country, Sri Pankaj Jagarwal, Secretary, Department of Consumer Affairs, Sri Abdul Amanullah, Director General, Bureau of Indian Standards, Distinguished participants in the national seminar, guests, ladies and gentlemen. It's indeed a privilege for me to be present here today at the national seminar on food safety, role of standards. I congratulate the Bureau of Indian Standards for taking this initiative to create awareness about food safety and the role of standards in India. Clean, fresh, nutritious food is vital for physical and mental health of our people. Safety of the food that we eat requires the maintenance of specific standards of hygiene during its preparation and processing. It also requires us to prescribe conditions of the proper transportation and marketing of these items before they are consumed. Their storage is similarly required to be under safe conditions specified for the different products which should also be communicated clearly to the consumers. These factors indicate that establishment and enforcement of standards and guidelines are essential both for manufacturers as well as for consumers. India has made significant strides over the past decades in food production if I remember correctly, even in the mid-70s, when Y. V. Chavan was the finance minister, in one of the most difficult years, he commented while presenting his proposals to Lok Sabha that management of food, its production, procurement and distribution is the key to the Indian economy. Dr. Swaminathan has correctly pointed out that there was a day when we had to live literally from sheep to mouth, whether PL 480s, wheat, or other imported varieties of food grains. It was the practice of almost every food minister to move around the world and ask for food aid. Thanks to our farmers, agricultural scientists and policy makers today, we are out of that humiliation and over and above the country can think of providing guaranteed food backed by legal enactment to 120 plus crores of people. India is among the 15 leading exporters of agricultural products in the world. It is noteworthy that in 2010-11, exports of agricultural and allied products registered a robust growth of 39.3%. It is indeed a positive development that manufacturers of food, transporters, and all stakeholders in the chain of food supply in our country are becoming increasingly cognizant of virtues of food safety. More and more of them are voluntarily and consciously adapting 
traditional approaches to develop innovative systems for food safety management. Globalization of the world economy has also given a significant boost to food trade and resulted in paradigm shift in the food consumption patterns, production methods, and processing technologies. But at the same time, there is a new risk of faster transboundary transfer of microbiological and chemical hazards. This presents a new set of challenges to food safety. These potential risks require robust preventive and curative capacities to be put in place to safeguard the health of our population. Economic cost of poor safety standards can be high in terms of treatment of the foodborne disease and the direct and indirect economic loss due to rejection or low grading of our products in the international market. For all these reasons, food safety has been a key priority for the government of India. The Food Safety and Standards Act introduced by government in 2006 is a comprehensive consolidating statute related to food safety and regulation. The Food Safety and Standards Authority of India, established under this act, has the responsibility of protecting and promoting public health through the regulation and supervision of food safety. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the challenge of meeting the ever-growing food requirement of our population calls for major investments and innovation in our agriculture, agribusiness, and food processing sectors. While upgradation of suitable technology is essential, safe farming practices, modern breeding techniques should go hand in hand with food related research, duly concentrating on the new food safety should be regulated under the Indian climatic and other relevant physical and cultural conditions. Bureau of Indian Standards has an increasingly important role in this effort. I note that the Bureau of Indian Standards has formulated Indian standards and a number of guidelines on best practices and management system in these. They have included Indian standards of food retail management, good hygienic practices, and good manufacturing practices. Indian standard on the basics requirements for street food vendors is an important step, especially in the context of the significant growth in the street food sector. It has important economic and nutritional implications in our urban population as street foods are <coughs> accessible and affordable option for a sizable percentage of our working population. We should also be conscious that a substantial majority of our food business are small and cottage scale units. They should not be intimated by the standards that are set for them or find their implementation to be too complex. There must be a channel for addressing their genuine problems and generating practical solutions to their problems they should be made aware that these standards are measures that have been taken by the government and regulators are in their own interest. By improving the safety of the food they produce and <coughs> building food safety systems and capacity, they would increase their own profit profitability. Importance of consumer education in the prevention of the foodborne illness is another universal imperative. When consumers are quality and safety conscious, they are able to complement the efforts of food control agencies in encouraging the food industry to provide good quality 
and safe food. I am happy to learn that Bureau of Indian Standards under the able guidance of Professor Thomas, Honorable Minister for Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution, has organized as many as four seminars for creating awareness about food safety. This outreach by the Bureau of Indian Standards will also be useful in gaining valuable feedback from the consumers and key participants in the food supply industry all over the country. Ladies and gentlemen, I have no doubt that this seminar will facilitate a purposeful exchange and sharing of information and experiences. It will contribute to enabling our country to be equipped with the workable, practical and realistic systems for improving the safety of the food consumed in our country. I would like to convey to the participants in the national seminar my best wishes. With these words, I formally inaugurate this seminar. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Jai Hind.